And welcome back to some more of Let's Play Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the last part, we cleared up the first of the 21 events. And so in this episode, we're going to be finishing up the one-player event matches with number 22, Monkeys Unite. Donkey Kong is under attack. Defeat his opponent. One problem I got with this stage is, unfortunately, or one of this event is, unfortunately, the stage it's on. Any guesses? Yeah, it's no surprise it's this one. Unfortunately. Now, why it's Sheik and Lucario, I don't know. I guess because King K. Rule isn't in this game. Uh, I don't know. Now, the problem with this match is it's really hard for you as the player to get kills on Lucario or Sheik. And it's really easy for you to die, as I almost did right there. But if DK is the one that's attacking him, he will do a ridiculous amount of damage if you kill him. Unless he hits the little thing. But yeah, it's pretty easy for you to die, so you do have to let, D uh, let DK do most of the work on this one. Mario lost a life. How did Sheik not die right there? Oh, I thought I got it. No, I wanted that. Oh gosh! DK, don't go down there! Oh. Apparently it doesn't matter. I thought if DK died, you failed. I guess it's only if you die. That's weird. I could have sworn if DK died, you got a failure. Huh. Oh well. This was like DK's under attack to defeat his opponent. This is from that title, I would assume that if either one of you lost both of your stock, you would lose. There's not much I can do for the sole fact that if I take like one hit, I'm gonna die. Though if DK keeps running into that thing, it's not going to help me at all. And I'm dead. Everybody dies! Except for Lucario, apparently. Everybody's going everywhere. Trophy. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, that's not very helpful on this stage. Yeah, it's already gone. I was supposed to say, who knows if that Pokemon's ever coming back now. Bye, guys. Oh no. Everybody's dead. Awesome. DK, just, DK, just keep going up, dude. DK, what are you doing? I'm screwed. Holy Karium almost killed himself. Well, no, I think he just, yeah, he did. What the, how'd I, how'd I get up here? I don't want to be up here. No. What? No! That throw didn't send her anywhere. Oh, she still had two lives. Okay. Yeah, probably. I thought she was on her last life. I thought she died earlier. That's weird. We gotta start paying more attention to the, both the enemy AIs here. Don't let her get that. Don't let her get that. Uh, guys! Oh, oh, and it's not even a good one either. It's freaking Nintendo. I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm just kind of hanging around here and praying I don't get killed. I'm just gonna hide down here. I'm getting out of here. Yeah! Nice shot, DK. Yeah, watch that go right off the edge. Or, you know, enough to not be able to do anything. Great. Uh...
hoping he comes back down here. He's certainly not. What the? Okay, I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. I need to go back and watch what happened in the recording there because I'm not sure what just happened. I think he jumped into the background, but either way, number 23, Molten Norfair. Get inside the safety capsule before your foes to survive the lava of Norfair. Seriously, though, what just happened? Did he just jump into the background and kill himself? Like, you don't have to tell me in the comments. I'm going to watch it back. That was weird. So anyway, on this one, uh, you need to just basically survive until the lava capsule portion of this comes up. Obviously, I didn't do that right there. And what you do, you get inside, and if you stay inside while the wave of lava comes, you make it. The thing is, I don't remember, like, if you're inside there and one of the enemy AI is too, like Fox or Falcon, either one, I don't know if you have to have them both outside of the capsule for a success. The last time I did it, I was trying to figure out, but they were too dumb and neither one of them made it inside, even though I didn't attack them. And so I obviously succeeded, so I don't know what's going to happen. We'll find out if it counts as a, success, eh, as a success or failure. So yeah, pretty much just do what I'm doing. Just, you know, jump back and forth between the spots. Do a lot of air dodging. If you know how to footstool really well, go for that. Alright, I'm good. If you can keep both stock, that's probably the best way to do it. Number 24, come on, Blue Falcon, dwaddle too much on the race will end, ride the Blue Falcon to victory. There's actually an event that's a lot like this one, and that would be the um, one with the Dragoon pieces as Kirby, and you have to, you know, get them all, all three and then kill Wario with the Dragoon, and the three Warios. This is kind of the same thing, the only difference is instead of uh, getting the Dragoon pieces, it's getting the Smash Ball, and there's two rods instead of three Warios. But the fact that they can only be destroyed by one thing is like, similar. There you go. I don't remember how much time you get for this, but if you can get it in one shot, obviously you're going to be okay. The Smash Ball will appear pretty frequently, so it's not like if you miss it once, it's game over. Number 25, the ore is with me. When pushed the limit, his power grows. Fight his Lucario at lethal damage. This is another one that for uh, the unlockable thing, you do have to do it on hard mode. I believe it's actually the stage that you unlock, which is Spear Pillar. Ready? Now, the real threat here, in case you couldn't already tell, is going to be Ness. I don't think I've had Sheik kill me ever on this. Ness, however, he is a jerk. He will get you. Like, see what I mean? Even though I used to smash attack, he still got me. He's a jerk on this one. Like, a jerk with a capital G. And yes, I said that wrong on purpose. Ah, Sheik, he got me. Okay, so maybe I lied about Sheik never killing me, but Ness is definitely the bigger threat. I'm the worst liar ever. It, dude, I dodged that. I'm not really sh sure how you're supposed to win this one. I don't know if it's like War of Sphere or what. It's obviously not throws. You don't want to get up close to them, so. Sheik. No, dude. No, 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 no. I guess counter might work if you know how to use a double team. It's like Mars down B. Oh, sure, now it goes off. No. Oh yeah, and since you guys haven't played on the stage because you have to beat on hard to unlock it, watch out for the Pokemon in the background, whether it's Palkia, Dialga, or Cresselia, because they can damage you, so watch out for it. Number 26, the slow and easy life. You want to enjoy KK Slider's show, but these guys keep getting in the way. This one, and I just realized I put it on hard mode, so I'm actually going to quit real quick and go back to normal. But anyway, these guys, from what I've noticed, they're not that hard to kill. Like... This one's pretty difficult to fail unless you just, you know, mess up with your PK Thunder recovery. Because you can just use the home run bat. It looks like it wouldn't hit them, but it does. And they, they don't seem to do too much in the way of damage. I mean, obviously you don't want to be in the middle of them, because if you're in the center, then they're going to, you know, their attacks are going to just gang up on you. But, I mean, one's already out. They're really not that good. If 
you want to use your throws, that's okay too. They're, you know, Ness's throw is really good, so either one works. But, I mean, they're really not that bad. I don't know why everyone thinks that one's af awful, but it's not. This one, however, is very annoying. 27, 3 Beast Carnage. 3 Beasts are in the Tyrant's Town. Facing them as lone figure, Rob. Now, I don't like this one for two reasons. Number one, I'm awful with Rob. This is no surprise to anyone who's ever watched me play as Rob. But the main problem with this one is it's also on New Pork City, and that's not a good stage for me. I'm not a big fan of big stages. I wasn't a fan of Temple and Melee. I'm still not a fan of it now, and obviously I'm not a fan of this one. The good thing is they can damage each other, and so sometimes that will be the main reason you get a kill is because they accidentally damage each other. Personally, I find the best strategy to be the one that I'm doing right now is just hide this little area right here and use the down smash. Because they're very big, it will usually hit them. And it's just proven they do can Ah, they can damage each other because King DDD, or not King DDD, what? King. Why did I say King DDD? That doesn't make sense. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong just killed Bowser a second ago. Boom. Oh. And see. So you noticed also that the timer slowed down Charizard, so they can damage each other. They're not all on the same team. Yeah, and see, he just killed Charizard, too. Sometimes you can just have it like this where you only have to kill one of them. Come on, get down here. Dude, I don't care how you get down here, just get down here. Yeah, sure, just throw it off the side. Whatever. But there you go. That one's just kind of awkward. You gotta be really careful while playing that one. Number 28, flower blooms in the echoes. Wrapped in sound waves, flowers of joy bloom. Make all the leaves on the right tree red. Ready, go! This one's kind of like cleaning house in Sky World. Except instead of Wario bothering you, it's Olimar. So you don't need to kill Olimar, he's just there to be in the way. Unlike Wario, he actually does a decent job of getting in the way, though. Problem is, he can also help you like Wario can in the fact that he can damage the leaves, too. So I've actually had him where he inadvertently caused me to win the match once. Well, not the match, but the event. It was kind of funny. And these little things that bounce around also turn the leaves different colors, too. So once you get one to red, just move on. They'll slowly switch back into their original colors, which is green, but, you know, it's not terrible. If you're, if it looks like this, and you, you know, you don't know which one's red, it's probably just one that's really dark orange. And once you beat that on any stage, or on any difficulty, you will get the stage, but the stage is awful, so don't use it. And the water at the bottom, that won't let you swim in there, just so you know. Number 29, All-Star Semi-Final Regulars. Four hidden characters from the past game, their secret perfect attendees. So this one's sort of like an all-star match. The only difference is, I think this is the only one in the one-player version where there's not eight people you're battling. It's only four. And obviously, it's the unlockable characters from the original Smash Bros. 64. I don't know why they put it on this stage, since the stage wasn't originally in the, uh, in the 64 game. Don't ask. This one debuted in Melee, not 64. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Decanut. Bye, Luigi. Really, Jigglypuff? You're a disgrace to the game, Jigglypuff. You really are. You're not like Ganondorf bad, but still. What? I used counter. Ha! I knew they would fall for that. Alright, number 30, Sonic Boom. Hey guys, isn't this some kind of, or is this some kind of joke? Isn't one Sonic enough? 
Oh man, if I haven't said it already, I play terrible Sonic because Sonic is a speed-based character, and while I'm normally good with, okay, you know, like, I prefer speed to power, but not this kind of speed. This is way too fast for me. But if you're having trouble beating the 15 Sonics that you need to in this one, use this little, I think it's supposed to be the goal game mark, I don't know what it actually is, because you know, the goal game mark doesn't hurt you in the games. But uh, if you attack it, whenever somebody runs into it, they'll get hurt by it. If you can find a fan, that's really helpful. Especially if they don't steal from you. Well, why the dragon showed up, I didn't even notice that, but okay. Oh, he air dodged it, jerk. <laughs> but then he gets killed by the thing, because I activated it with the dragon. My bad. And if it disappears, it will reappear. Just be aware that the uh, middle part of the stage is breakable. You gotta watch out for that. Because that can't kill you. I was gonna throw him, but he just landed around on top of the thing. Whatever. This is probably my favorite event from the one-player matches. Number 31, the ultimate bodyguard. Ganondorf's attack Zelda she focuses. Protect her at all costs. And it's pretty obvious why I like this one. But, yeah, I mean, it's, come on, it's Marth, one of the best characters, beating up on two Ganondorfs, which is arguably the worst character in the game. So basically what you're doing here is you're just trying to... You don't even have to kill Ganon so much as make sure that uh, Zelda doesn't get hurt and killed. Because if Zelda gets killed, that's what causes you to fail. Not just having Marth get killed, which obviously make you fail as well, but if Zelda gets killed, you will fail the mission, unlike the, apparently Donkey Kong gets killed, you don't fail. Can I go back to normal speed now? Nope, apparently not. Hey! But yeah, the Gendorfs have a high damage ratio, which means it's hard to kill them. So if you're having problems, just wait for Zelda, because Zelda will actually transform into Sheik whenever you get to the final stage of this little area right here. And when she does that, she will destroy them like one hit. Especially with all the damage you've racked up on them by then. Just keep in mind they do have two stock each. And if you want to make this second part of the stage go faster, then use the... Uh, ability of breaking these, and if you do that, the stage will end faster, so. What's funny is in the fail recording that I had of this, I actually killed them before we got to this point. But I figured I'd go ahead and show it this time, you know, or transforming the Sheik and just destroying them. She can't really right now, because I killed them both. I'll let her take this guy out. <laughs> See what I mean? She wrecks him. Sheik, where are you going? If I tried that with my screw attack badge, it would not have worked, by the way. It's Sheik does ridiculous damage to them. Anyway, number 32, Bird in the Darkest Night. What's happening? It's getting darker. Today just isn't my lucky day. This is kind of a weird match. It always felt out of place to me. So you're playing as Falco, and you're fighting a Game & Watch on... I'm not really sure why this stage. Like, I don't have a problem with the stage, but it has nothing to do with Game Watch. It has nothing to do with Starfire. It's a Metroid-based stage. If that weren't weird enough, it gets really dark as you go through the match. And then it just comes back. It's, it's bizarre and very out of place. Yeah, I don't quite understand this one. It's not difficult, it's not bad, it's just, it feels weird for some reason. Yeah, all that work for a Starfy, lovely. Yeah, have fun in the acid, Starfy. Of course it was an explosive. Could have been a normal item. There we go. 
Oh, this one. And I didn't play it on hard mode. I'm going to have to kill myself real quick on this one, because you actually do need to do this on hard. 33 of Advent of the Evil King. The uh, King of Evil wants the Triforce, but the Faded Pair of Help from above. Last time I played this, I got ridiculously lucky, and out of nowhere, I just like threw a Warlock Punch, and it killed Zelda and Pit at the same time. That's why it's only 31 seconds long. Like, just pure luck that it happened. But, you know, the odds of that happening twice are slowly down, slowly slowly down. I don't know the best way to play this one, honestly. It's, it's difficult, no matter how you slice it. Because it's a three on one, and Ganondorf sucks, so... I guess the best part is if you can have all three of them, they're probably not on your shield. The problem is, playing a temple, you know what happens. You do a massive amount of damage with a good knockback, and they don't get killed. Yeah, I knew that was gonna work. Now Pit's almost got the dragon and a mast. Yeah, I'm gonna die. It's like, air dodge it, sucker! got pit. That's funny, it's usually whenever I kill someone, pit's usually the first one out. Zelda should have been out right there. No. I don't know why Link keeps using the spin attack in place like that. It's kind of bizarre, actually. Let me go. Where'd that sticky bomb go? Did it hit Zelda? <laughs> Was Link trying to use the- Oh my gosh. I don't know what Link was doing in that match. <laughs> he was like spinning around, throwing sticky bombs on his allies. That was bizarre. Number 34, All-Star Battle Melee. It's the eight challenges for Melee. What's the difference between then and now? Well, I'd say the difference between then and now is some of those challengers from Melee aren't here anymore. Dr. Mario, Pichu, Mewtwo, Roy, you know, all gone. Young Link. Or gone or replaced, I guess. Be a better word for some of them. Peach, Bowser's on your side this time. I know he's not usually, but he is this time. You don't have to throw shells at him. I don't want the bunny hood. Fast enough, thanks. If I was playing as Ike, that would be handy. Then I could be normal speed. Oh wow, what a great set for the item boxes. Whee! Yeah, use the cracker launcher while those are all there. What could possibly go wrong? have it back now. It's pretty much empty. Oh, did you see that combo? That was awesome. Not what I meant to do. Oh, 
they were all like afraid to go past the Wobble Fab for some reason. You guys can just jump over him like I did. It's not that hard. Gandorf, what are you doing? Jerks! Ledge Garters. Ledge Garters! Bowser, you nearly killed yourself. There! Get out of here! Bye, Slimers. Ah, I tried to push it back into it in time, but it wasn't fast enough. What? I used counter. Show you the things you used. Don't you ever try to tap me with one of those? I know how they're used, sucker. Aw, oh, nine, seriously? Dude, what do you keep attacking your allies for? Watch that being explosive and kill Falco. Is it deep? I regret nothing. Oh wow, another CD. How rare is that? What are you guys doing? I don't think so. Oh, I got you, Ganon. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Oh, yeah. 